at Karachi International Airport uh, it's 5 a.m. or just after 5 a.m. and uh, it's about 28 degrees Celsius Ooh, it's hot so uh, I'm just on my way to passport control and um, then I have to get my visa so what you do is um, you have to apply for visa on arrival you have to do it online and you'll get a form called the ETA I'll give you all the details about that and then that's the form that you have to then submit to password control I'll see what the deal is now, I'll see what's cutting and then you will receive your visa on arrival so the document is the electronic travel authorization and that's the one that you receive once you apply for the online visa. So I'm on my way to get the SIM card from a place called Jazz. Jazz Warit franchise. Uh, so it's a cell phone shop. Uh, I'm sure they told me that I needed to go to one of the main um, stores, one of the main operators, but apparently this one does sell the SIM card. So it's about 850 meters from where I'm staying, and this is just to give an idea of what it looks like. Check it out. It's extremely hot and humid, it's slightly overcast, but it's not raining at all, I don't think there's any rain uh, expected, I think it might just be generally overcast, but hot. So I can also rent the bike. Uh, I opted not to do that. I thought I'd just uh, get the SIM card first and then from there navigate my way around. I wanted to get a good rest before I started anything today. Because uh, as I mentioned I didn't have a the most pleasant flight. Also, this place uh, showed that it opened at 9, 10, no sorry, it opens at 10 and then I was going to come at 10 but then I also read that there's a restaurant not too far from there and they open at 11 and I thought let's just make one trip instead of coming back to my hotel and then coming back over here to, to eat, I'll just kill two birds with one stone. kind of main road I'm using Google Maps at the moment and I'm using it from the offline uh, state so you know that Google has offline maps as well 
but you gotta download the maps beforehand. So that's what I did before I came. And so now I, I'm able to use Google Maps as if it's online. But the only snake with that is, is uh, that it doesn't show the walking distance, it only shows the distance by car or by bike. So when it shows me three minutes, it really probably is like 10 minutes or 15 minutes with a car or something like that. And I'm not rushing it either because it's quite hot. Delhi sweets. Right, I see Pizza Hut there as well. And I also saw KFC early on, so some familiar franchises. Quite lively out here. Considering I came this morning at about just after six, and it was really dead. It was completely quiet out here. But I mean, obviously, people start the day a little later, I suppose. that I have to go to the head office anyway. This uh, store is one of the satellite stores and they cannot give me a international SIM. So uh, they can't even give me a local SIM because I can't have one with a passport. So I need to have a Pakistani ID or something like that to get the local SIM. But international sim is possible, but they don't do it at this office. So I have to go to the head office and that's all the way out at Clifton Beach. My plan was to go to Clifton Beach. Not for that though. So I'm going to get back to the hotel and I'm just going to see if I can download a... or if I can buy an eSIM like I normally do. But the eSIM that I... the company that I use they don't operate in Pakistan, so I'm going to see if I can find a different uh, brand or something. It's extremely hot out here, guys. Um, unfortunately, I'm offline, so I can't show you the exact temperature. But when I did a, a seven-day forecast of Karachi, it showed between 28 and 34 for the remainder of this week so it's extremely hot I, I reckon it's about probably 30 but it's humid so I'll give you that details a bit later just know that it's hot and be prepared to be summer in Pakistan right now my ride 
Okay, that's where I need to be, guys. It's the jazz experience. But this is the jazz business center, so this is the main office. So hopefully they can help me. So I paid uh, 1,000 uh, rupees for a SIM card, and it's giving me 12 gigabytes of data. And um, I opted for the SIM card, the physical SIM card, because the eSIM um, by one of the online companies would have cost me $69 for 10 gigabytes. So now I paid something like $6 for 12 gigabytes. So sometimes it pays to shop around, guys, not just go for the, for the options. Actually, guys, I'm actually paying three dollars for this package, not six dollars. It's a thousand rupees. It's just over three and a half US dollars. So uh, instead of paying the sixty-nine US dollars for a ten gigabyte eSIM, I'm paying three and a half US dollars for a twelve gigabyte SIM card. So it's okay. Um, I didn't want to get a SIM card, but it is what it is. So now I'm just gonna go back to my guest house, but before we do that, let's get something to eat. Let's see what's good in the hood. Alright, so it was quite easy. It actually just they need your, your passport and your visa, and then uh, the process is quite simple. They will then activate your your SIM card for you as well and then all you do is plug and play just put in the new SIM card and remove the old one I don't have the option to, to put in two SIM cards so I had to remove the old one uh, you get the new number straight away so I had to register on the app called InDrive so InDrive is the app that they use I don't think they use Uber I'm still gonna check that but uh, I don't think they use it because everybody's been recommending InDrive so you can book a motorbike you can book a tuk tuk or you can book a uh, air conditioned car, a non air conditioned car, all different prices, and you pay cash. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right now, I'm just uh, waiting for my uh, ride and then I'll be off to um, the guest house or to get something to eat. Uh, maybe close by, close to the guest house. can see that but it's 34 degrees Celsius so be prepared guys you're gonna be walking around with a sweaty face and sweaty clothes all the time it's really hot so the rickshaw dropped me at the guest house and that cost me one dollar fifty cents round about that's uh, 390 Pakistani rupees that's quite cheap guys and it's about, I'd say about 15 minutes ride. Thus far, I've only used the rickshaws because uh, I wanted the experience, but I gotta say, it's really bumpy. The roads are not in a very good condition, and uh, it's been bumpy rides all the way. There's potholes. Uh, there's no real uh, rule, traffic rules. Everybody is just like first come, first serve. So, Anything goes. Reminds me a lot of Cairo and Alexandria. Also maybe even Mumbai. I'm off to a place called the Indian Kitchen. And it says on Google Maps it's the main branch. Guys forgive me. Um, I'm kind of working my way into eating Pakistani food. I don't quite know what the cuisine is yet, but I'll find out. But at the moment I'm just really hungry. I just want to eat something familiar and uh, what more familiar than a Indian curry or um, acne or biryani or something so I'm about to find out but mark my words I will fry the Pakistani dishes I'm gonna be here for a bit, so I'll get into that. I'll try some street food as well. You know my songs on street food, but because I'm gonna be here for quite a while, um, well at least for more than a few days, 
it's okay. It's worth a shot. I don't think fast food is going to be a problem. That's if I opt to have fast food. Because I see a lot of the Western uh, food chains, the food stores around here, like uh, the KFCs, I've seen Wendy's as well. Quite a few others that I've seen. Obviously, Pizza Hut. And then I've seen Starbucks as well. So if I want to go for those things, that's, that will be an absolute fallback. But I'm going to try my best to stay away from those things. Obviously McDonald's as well. I've seen McDonald's. So those will be a fallback. See his Karachi foods. Alright. So that's if you want to try some Pakistani cuisine. Bakery as well. KFC. Just over a month ago, I was in Dublin and the weather was 9 degrees Celsius. So it's uh, <laughs> the complete opposite right now. But I didn't complain then because I knew what I was getting myself into and I'm not going to complain now because obviously the same thing. I knew it was summer in Pakistan so no complaints from me. I'm just saying if you're coming in June be prepared. wants to be on the video. Hi, Salam Alaikum. Kufa. Alhamdulillah. Go. good meal this evening so this is kind of my early light lunch so and if it's good I'll take another portion but it's only 290 that's like less than a dollar that's my chicken brihani mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about this guys 
Very good. Cut. And this is the single hopping. I thought I was taking a light lunch. Wow. Wow, this brand is really good. Um, I'm going to have to turn on the camera now because I want to enjoy this biryani but I just wanted to give you an idea about the serving. 